Greetings of the day. I hope you are doing well in this pandemic situation. And due to this COVID-19 situation, only we are presenting a paper in online mode. I am very grateful to be a part of fourth international conference on ISMAC, which stands for IoT in Social, Mobile, Analytics and Cloud, organized by SCAD Institute of Technology, Tamil Nadu, India. The title of my research paper is Protection of Sleep Apnea and Cancer Mutual Symptoms Using Deep Learning Techniques. The co-authors along with me are Anand Singh Rajavat, Pradeep Pedi and Omed Mohammed. So let's move to the next slide. It contains list of contains uh, starting with abstract introduction. At, and at the end, uh, conclusion, future scope, and references. So let's start with the first slide. Uh, that is a main slide. Which, that is uh, abstract. So what is sleep apnea basically? Sleep apnea is a respiratory condition, which is linked to sleep, which is uh, linked to a sleep issue, uh, and it often contributes to reduction in airflow and often sometimes fully prevents airflow while a person is sleeping. It is a common problem and it is found in many mammals and other organisms. So several experiments were carried on uh, animals like mice for this research uh, that reveals that how it is linked to the cancer. But what is the main relation between cancer cancer and sleep apnea. So actually, the uh, development of cancer cell is advancing rapidly. Mouse is put in low oxygen conditions. It means the cancer cells grow more as compared to normal condition when the oxygen level in entire body is very less. So in this paper, we are uh, proposing a deep learning algorithm for evaluating different variables, including uh, throat muscles, which usually collapse while a person is sleeping and snoring as body is searching for more oxygen levels. Continuing with the extract only, deep learning technology, uh, we are proposing a few models fusion uh, convolutional neural network abbreviated as MFCNN which is used as a function detector to learn this features of the high order association between observable data and association marks between cancer and sleep apnea. So preparing and segmenting the data model is a critical move towards training into deep learning. And we are investigating different ECG forms of, e uh, of sleep apnea patients, which will lead to, which will help us to understand how sleep apnea is related to cancer. Introduction. So sleep apnea is known to be a severe sleep condition, as I have mentioned, in which a person breathing is very disturbed. It means it is not regular, like inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So it is very difficult for him to breathe properly while he is sleeping. So people with chronic sleep apnea avoid breathing repeatedly, which may occur like thousands times a night throughout the entire sleep cycle. So uh, what is the main focus of our research paper? So it is that uh, carbon dioxide level rise uh, during the sleep apnea and the level of oxygen reduces in the blood. Due to which the concentration of O2 and CO2, CO2 sorry for that, is directly related to an airflow barrier and the, the minute level of oxygen and carbon dioxide get dispersed. Now obstructive sleep apnea, which is like around 0.4% of all patients with sleep apnea are suffered. Now, when this disorder occurs, the chest and diaphragm muscles, which helps and regulates the respiration process, 
do not obtain instructions from the brain properly that yeah you have to inhale and you have to exhale which creates a lot of problem now 15% of all sleep apnea cases are reported to suffer from csa which means complex sleep apnea so there are two types of sleep apnea that is central sleep apnea and obstructive sleep apnea now correlation condition between obstructive sleep apnea and cancer now earlier findings indicate that people with sleep apnea are more often diagnosed with cancer in medical history than others it means it concludes that uh, when people are diagnosed with cancer they are more in which their medical histories are treated are, are evaluated then uh, sleep apnea is far one most of the common reasons apnea uh, is commonly known and related to snoring snoring daytime exhaustion and high risk of cardiac cardiovascular activities and it is mostly common in men as compared to women and girls now let's move to the uh, related work in this paper authors has noted and documented that ecg shifts along with the respiratory variation it it means ecg helps us to read the heart condition heart parameters and uh, that it, it will fluctuate it will fluctuate with respect to respiratory situations and uh, variation so sleep apnea is a serious condition that is typically treated by extensive laboratory treatment it is generally treated with uh, polysomnography test which is also known as uh, sleep test uh, which is conducted in uh, normally in uh, sleep sleep uh, laboratories or sleep lab uh, and it is very uncommon in india although the problem of sleep apnea is very common in india around 35% of people are suffering from this now the supervised learning uh, classifier knn was utilized to categorize occurrences into regular and obstructive sleep uh, apnea here regular apnea is also denoted as obstructive sleep apnea proposed work so what we have done in our model so first of all cnn that is convolutional neural network is widely used and considered to be the focus on the study of optical nerve which shows considerable significance for the cnn model in finding a theory of receptor field it also intimates the integrated movement of the brain working for such main concepts with multi sectoral desk and geographical coordination as which leads to weight sharing and pulling as a influential deep paradigm now this is our modified convolutional neural network architecture in which uh, there are different uh, wave lengths of uh, sound or we can say uh, snoring typically and we are passing it through a 16 layer architecture of convolutional neural network followed by eight layer uh, architecture of deep believe network which is on a dbn and when these are integrated we are using a softmax classifier and we will get the final output in a form whether it is in the sleep apnea condition or not now in order to enable new capacities such as modular weight which can be integrated to a modern dbn platform uh, which is used for capturing ecg signal network models the dbn network of the encoder decoder can be used to provide sequences of different length of input and output so it, it provides us that uh, a wide range of uh, wave length of frequency in which we can operate to show the one is uh, input layer two hidden layer h1 and h2 will be used and last layer will be considered as output layer now this is our proposed algorithm so what we are doing we are initializing we are providing uh, learning rate batch size iteration and convergence rate based on epochs 
Now this will be going to FCNN iteration model. Uh, we will have we have divided and segregated uh, data set into train set, validation set, and test set. Now FCNN after uh, as we have seen in previous diagram that FCNN training uh, will pass through DBN network, and if it is properly converging, then it will pass as updated output. Then FCNN testing will take place. Will predict the accuracy, and it will end. So this is the complete procedure, proposed algorithm for our FCNN module. Now, how have we have uh, extracted features from the uh, data set? That is the main part of any deep learning problem. So uh, polysomnographic signals is, is a very complicated. It contains like around 12 to 15 parameters, but it will definitely indicate positive patterns that are critical used by experts for its assessment, whether a person is suffering from sleep apnea or not. So there are waves of different frequencies uh, which can be enlisted as uh, in different ranges like uh, 12 to 14 hertz uh, represented as slip spindles, 0 0.5 to 4 hertz represented as sluggish waves, 8 to 12 hertz represented as alpha waves, and 4 to 8 hertz is uh, represented as uh, theta oscillation. So uh, artifact epochs often uh, provide useful information, wakefulness often matches signals of movement, and which will provide next step. Now, data set attributes. So we have collected data sets in the three forms, uh, which is uh, attributed as in the first section, attributes, uh, ECG segmented data, ECG sampled signals, ECG signal data. Uh, and these are very common. First, first of all, two are very common data sets, uh, Leuven data set and PhysioNet data set. Many researchers working on this data set, uh, and we have extracted segmented data in which uh, it, it contains a description of 34,324 minutes of uh, ECG signals recorded on different patients. Similarly, uh, our experimental data set content worked on uh, 15,000 people and uh, it, it was denoted on 6,000 sample points, whether they are one or zero, representing whether the person is suffering from sleep apnea or not. So how system description takes place? So it is uh, divided in two parts, FCNN uh, training module and independent inference module. So FCS, FCNN uh, training module uh, is often used in uh, prediction of uh, accuracy which performs on EEG signal and ECG signal as input and intelligent generator sequence of sleep stages whether a person is in first cycle of his sleep second cycle like that then second one is independent inference model whenever the same pattern goes through feature extraction process then it, it will be uh, on the basis of FCN and training module, it will be mapped on binary decreditized number or index known as memory address, which is also known as apply module, and it will be stored in form of memory unit. Now, result discussion. And as we have observed that uh, already four algorithms are existed, which are uh, RFC, KNN, SVN, DBN. RFC stands for random forest classifier, which accuracy is lowest among all the proposed model and other algorithms. Second one is KNN, which accuracy is equivalent to uh, SVM and DBN. But in our proposed model, it can be clearly observed that the accuracy is very good, which is 91.7%. 91.7%, sorry for that. Uh, and time time taken is also in the mid range, which is not so good, like not 11 seconds and not so 
bad. So it is in the like 8.63 seconds are required to completely classify the model, which is around a big people, big big samples, like around six twelve thousand samples, as we have uh, seen in the previous question. Now, it is the future scope and the conclusion. So uh, this work will investigate the main slip apnea detection techniques and challenge associated with uh, per impermeance from cancer. And it can be assumed that it is possible to study slip with minimal number of senses based on extraction of functions, different functions like ECG functions, etc. And this model is completely based on deep learning. So uh, to create a limited size prototype, what we can do, uh, we can uh, add additional sensors for more precise and data collection methods. The benefit of this model is that independent intake away from qualified DBN network should be used for inference processes. And we can we can conclude that like a genius move for deeper convergence and improve efficiency is to entire the conventional deep architecture. Moreover, the expansion of conventional deep approaches, semi-control schooling, and transition analysis can also be used. These are the following references from which, which help us to understand the impairance problem of cancer and sleep apnea. Uh, in this way, I end my presentation here only. And uh, I'm really, again, I'm really very uh, grateful for this opportunity to be a part of uh, this international conference. Thank you.